What's up YouTube, Justin here, aka Goofy Skating Lifestyle, back at it again with another video. Today, I've got three insole companies to discuss. The main one we're going to be discussing is the FP insoles. You can check them out at fpfootwear.com for more. If you can, please do. And we've got some DC shoes insoles that, in my opinion, did not help me at all and as well as these New Balance Ortholite insoles that came out of the Tiago Lemos 1010 New Balance skate shoe. Now, I'm gonna run a test here that I haven't seen anyone do on insoles, but I have three eggs here. And now what the three eggs are going to mimic is the impact absorption that you would want in your shoe for your feet. Now we're going to be putting it on the heel cups of these insoles here by dropping them at a equal height for all of them and see which one absorbs it and doesn't crack the egg. We're going to be checking for cracks in the eggs, but not only cracks, we're going to be checking which of them bounces the most and tries to deflect it. If one of them tries to deflect it, or cracks it at all, it means that there is not enough impact protection on your insole. So what I'm going to prove to you guys is that FP insoles actually do work. I'm going to set the camera down at a better view angle and we're going to drop these eggs at equal heights and show you guys that FP insoles will win that I've also worn these FP insoles a lot and I have also worn these in the shoe for like a day until I put these in all of those shoes without further ado we're gonna start with the DC shoes and New Balance we're gonna drop it from right here oh as you can see obviously both of them fell. That one fell. Humpty Dumpty fell off the uh, counter. This one bounced off and cracked as well. So because of that, that means they are deflecting the impact and they are also very poorly designed and thin. The other benefit before I drop this on the FP insole, with FP insoles, you get art support and they have many different designs with their insoles for better arc support for a person with a higher arc, medium arc, and even low arc. And what also is nice about FP insoles is to mold them if you don't want to just directly place them into your feet and you want a custom mold, you can buy their custom moldable ones which would go in the oven here. Um, I do not have the actual instructions for that, but what's cool is they leave the instructions for you on their um, website but not only on their website, but on their insoles box. So if you get a pair of insoles, the positive to that is you can get custom moldable ones to custom mold to your foot. Without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys that these FP insoles will in fact not crack that egg at the same height. Let me clean up that egg first though, just so my tongue doesn't get into it. Off to the side, we've got the Behold, I know I keep saying it, the FP insole. Let's drop it from the same height now. You ready? We'll see what they did. Oh, nothing cracked. The um, other insoles deflected it and cracked it within the first drop. Let's drop it from a little higher, see what happens. Okay, so it did deflect the egg slightly, but it did not crack. It still has not cracked yet. Let's give you guys another angle of this. It blows my mind every time I do a test like this that it, it never cracks the egg. It's not cracked. Isn't that crazy? It still has not cracked. That is awesome. So, if y'all are liking the videos so far, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you guys wanna check out some FP insoles or their shoes or many other things that they create and make, 
Be sure to go check them out at fpfootwear.com. I'm going to leave the link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.